Okay guys, so it's no secret that ChatGPT and AI in general, all the tools that, that have been created from and with AI can be really helpful in terms of helping us to complete tasks that are quite mundane and time consuming in the, the office environment. And of course, this isn't excluding health and safety advisors. There's lots of opportunity to speed up how we're doing our work. So let's look at five key ways that we can uh, use ChatGPT and the like to help us uh, to perform these tasks. So, first and foremost, hi Ch ChatGPT, can you create me a health and safety audit template for an office environment? Let's see what it comes up with. Okay, sounds good. Sure thing. So it comes up with something like this. Just the general stuff around. Okay, so the question questions are reasonable in terms of uh, being relevant to your office environment, of course. Yes, it's a bit bullet point heavy. Not exactly the way we want the um, audit template to be laid out necessarily, but what if we say to it, can you improve the layout to include checkboxes and comments? Okay, there's a simple audit checklist um, that we've created. Of course, this can be elaborated on, but it's just by means of um, giving you a simple example. So next one then. Okay, so this one is write me a loan working policy. Um, there we go straight away it comes up with some suggestions on risk assessment approvals communication and check-ins uh, etc some measures to be in place for yeah look it's not perfect this is something that of course can be used as a basis for developing a more specific template for uh, or policy for your own workplace um, and of course, if you've used ChatGPT, you'll know that if it's not good enough for you, you can keep uh, asking it to improve it in the way that you want it to. So another example of how you can begin um, creating the foundation of the likes of a, a policy of any sort, a health and safety policy for your workplace. Um, you could, of course, be more specific and tell it that it needs to be appropriate for a factory or for working outdoors in a, you know, electrical environment or whatever it might be. Okay, next thing then. Let's uh, let's ask it. Create me some toolbox talks based on injuries caused by manual handling work. Okay. Straight away then, we've got some discussion points, got some background intro, plenty to talk about for a couple of minutes. Um, and obviously it's, uh, it's broken it down into different types of elements here, safe lifting techniques um, and understanding manual handling risks. So this can be again, developed, elaborated upon, etc. Um, and again, a very good basis for starting your discussions with your workforce. Next one then, and this is a, this is a biggie. Let's ask it to write us a risk assessment. So can you write me a risk assessment for warehouse operations and put it into tabular format and make it relevant to the UK regulations? Okay, look at that. Straight away, it's throwing us up something in tabular format, highlighting manual handling, slips, trips and falls, forklift operations, working at height, hazardous substances, fire safety, equipment safety, etc., etc., And some, you know, half decent um, control measures suggestions in there as well as you can see and we've asked it to put a little um, reference to the applicable regulations in the UK there which it's done whether or not you like that being in amongst the control measures is up to yourself but again 
it's a good start. Obviously, you'll want to make sure that whoever's uh, creating these risk assessments is making it specific to your circumstances, but a wonderful way to create the foundation to have a specific risk assessment. Um, because, of course, as we know, there's a lot of... Um, there's a lot of repetition in risk assessments and crossover from one area to the next or workplace to the next um, and the control measures are very often similar with little tweaks and, and um, you know intricacies that are specific to the workplace that you, you need to make sure that you have those covered but you know fantastic tool again for this um, let's let's not beat around the bush here so lastly then Let's finish off with another one, which is write me a safety alert communication to help reduce risks of cuts to hands from using sharp objects. I mean, if you're not using these tools as a safety advisor or someone that's uh, a manager and has to communicate and you know, create content in this way to help you to to communicate to your staff and uh, highlight issues and, and so forth, then, I mean, I think you're, you're definitely missing a trick here. But um, this is just to demonstrate simply that this is a very easy way to, to get you, uh, to get a ball rolling on many different aspects of your content creation. So this is a, a sort of an email, I guess, an, an email style. Um, alert that it's created here uh, has broken down some of the key aspects for us here but again uh, whether or not you want it to be email based or whether it's it's something that you for example let's say make it uh, make it usable as as a verbal communication so say we're going to have a a team meeting um, they obviously will just automatically or <clears throat> very quickly turn it into a conversational style um, safety alert, which may also be usable as an email as well. So look, lots of flexibility there. Um, these tools are as good as you as, as your prompts that you're using to actually um, create the, the content, what you're asking it to do. I would emphasize just to make sure that you're double checking, um, you know, that all areas are covered and you're not just relying on the, the AI system to come up with everything that you'll need to, to cover with these things but it really makes things a lot quicker um, and as I say it's no secret here but uh, this is just a few examples and hopefully this was helpful for you give us a like uh, if this was a if this was a helpful example for you and um, let us know what your thoughts are on creating co content like this for health and safety in the comments and uh, we'll look forward to chatting to you thanks for watching